Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a very short update um, on a collab that I am in. Um, the collab is called Blitz Our Kits and it is a bi-monthly collab. Um, myself and several others are participating. And um, just to find out who else is participating, you can search up the hashtag BYK 2023 and um, that should bring up the videos for these collabs. Um, every month on the odd months we share the kit that we are going to work with and then the following month on the even months um, we show the finished projects that we were able to um, to create for the that two month period. And for the month of July and August um, we were to use a kit that was animals or school themed and I actually put kind of put a kit together um, with some ephemera packs and this Echo Park 12 by 12 paper pad called Animal Safari um, and I had some other bits and pieces that I kind of pulled from my um, craft stash that would coordinate with this um, I didn't actually use the other things that I had gathered up. Um, and it seems like this month of July was just super, super swamped, super busy. And also first part of August has been crazy as well. Um, with other, I've been working two jobs for the last few months. So finding crafting time has been a little bit difficult. But um, I do have um, a stack of cards because one of the um, stipulations was that if we made cards, we needed to try to have about 10, which I don't even think I did that. I'm thinking I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I had eight card bases that I grabbed and I actually forgot about the fact that we needed to aim for 10 cards. Um, I actually made nine cards because one I already sent out in the mail to my brother for his birthday. You can go back on the 5th and look at my fun folds on the 5th um, video if you wanna see that card that I made for him. Um, so I have eight cards here to share and let me go ahead and move this paper pad out of the way. Um, I had all kinds of plans of projects that I wanted to make. I really wanted to do a couple of altered notebooks like composition books. Um, I have a list here of things that I was wanting to do, so hopefully I can get around to making a few more things. I was wanting to make a couple altered composition books with some matching pens. Um, I was wanting to do like maybe some gift bags because I thought this paper would be really cute on like children's type projects. So I thought some fun gift bags, tags that match. Um, I was also thinking like some post-it note holders would be cute with this paper. Um, so there's a few more things that I might try to come back to this collection and um, make. But here are the cards that I made. Um, just kept them simple. I did the um, three by four cut aparts and just matted them with um, several pieces of coordinating cardstock. And then on the bottom like the pattern piece that I put on the actual card base I did not mat that because I wanted as much of the pattern paper to show and I knew if I did a mat on the outer layer on the bottom layer that it would take away some of this pattern um, so this is very hard to see even in person up close but it says any day spent with you is my favorite day I thought that was really really cute this would be just a little cute little card to give to somebody for like a birthday or any type of occasion. Just a thanking of you card. Um, if you wanted to give someone a thank you card for maybe, you know, just something they had done for you, um, this would be a cute little card. And I just added a few of my little Dollar Tree pearls, the little pearl stickers. And the next card um, just says adventure. And here I used one of the red and blue and green um, sticky back pearls. And all of these are blank on the inside, so that could, any kind of note can be put in there. Um, this says, every day, every zoo is a petting zoo if you're brave enough. And then um, I just used some of the yellow collared um, gems, from also from Dollar Tree. And this one 
has a really pretty like floral design on the back. It's almost like a, a jungle um, pattern with some like really pretty red and yellow flowers and a bunch of like the vines and the um, big giant leaves that you would see like in the African or South American jungles. <clears throat> so there's that one. This one's adorable. Out of all the monkeys in the zoo, I choose you. That is really cute. I could see giving that to like a little um, really young kid for their birthday. That's adorable. And then just went with a couple of red or a couple of green and one red pearl up there in the corner just to kind of coordinate with the collars and the cut apart. That is so adorable. And I love that plaid paper. I uh, kind of wish I had done the plaid with the majority of these cards, but I had already cut out a bunch of other patterns before I got to the plaid. And I love the plaid best of all. I think it would have matched with about most of these cut aparts. Now this one I really love as well. Um, just says zoo with all the cute animals on the front. And then a couple of yellow gems. And this background paper is um, sort of a bluish gray color and just has different safari animals like zebra, elephant, lion, giraffe, monkey. Just a lot of cute little animals. I wish that you could see more of that on the um, outside, but it is what it is. You still see enough of it to know what the pattern is. And then this one, um, the see a later alligator, added a few of the green pearls in the corners. And this is just a white background paper with the animals on there. And then this one is really cute. Um, just, just a zoo entrance with the little family coming in. Added a little butterfly from the ephemera pack and just a few little blue pearls. And the last card, um, I did it this way. This one, um, this cut apart, didn't have any kind of saying or, or writing on it. So I just took one of the little tags from the ephemera. Um, just says, see you later, alligator. And I turned the card this way so it would fit a little bit better. Added one of the banners from the ephemera pack and added a few little red pearls and love how that turned out so that is what i was able to make so just nine cards so i'm kind of bummed about that i was really hoping to get more made but um just had too much on my plate this last month and a half um so uh, if you come back on september the 15th and i will be sharing the kit i will be working with for september and october and um, we can use either Halloween or fall. So I'll have to go through my stash. I have tons of Halloween kits and it's now getting into, you know, once you get into September, I really start itching to do a bunch of Halloween projects. Um, also fall is always nice too, because I love when the collars start changing on the trees and that's my favorite season. If Christmas was in fall, then it would just be absolutely perfect. Um, because I do love fall much better than winter. I don't like super cold, but I love Christmas. That's my favorite holiday. So they kind of need to merge there, <laughs> move Christmas up a little bit. Um, but anyways, I will be picking either a Halloween or a fall kit, and I will share on September 15th what I have picked out. Um, if you would like to play along and you can pick either a Halloween or a fall kit, if you don't have an actual paper kit, you can put things together from your stash. The only thing is with this collab you cannot go out and purchase a new kit to use it has to be something that you already have on hand um, you can just do hashtag kits blitz 2023 which is k-i-t-z b-l-i-t-z 2023 and um, you can upload on the um, 15th of september and share what you're going to work with so thank you everyone for stopping by and I will see everyone in my next video. Take care.